welcomes students, staff, family and friends who are watching our 2020 presentation ceremony from home today. The year 2020 has certainly been an interesting one. However, today we are here to celebrate the resilience, determination and success of the students of Gorokan High School. I would like to invite Yasmin Buraza and our Dij and Dance group to open the presentation for 2020. This will be followed by the national anthem. Good morning, my name is Yasmin and I'm a proud Gamilaroi woman. I acknowledge the traditional owners of this land we stand on today. This land is and always will be Aboriginal land. I pay my respects to the elders, past and present, and to the leaders who have yet to come, who will carry on the hopes and dreams of our nation into the future. We recognise the strength, resilience and spirit of our nation's first people.
Thank you, Yasmin, our wonderful, our wonderful Digi and Dance group. My name is Hugo, and I am proud to be here today to help present the Senior Awards for Gorakin High School. I am joined today by Chloe Lawson, and it is our pleasure today to present the, the awards for Stage 6 and the Support Unit. The format of the presentation is certainly different to years gone by, and I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the staff who have contributed to the organisation and the technological support so that we have the opportunity to congratulate our very deserving students. The year 2020 has been a challenging one, ending 2019 with fires and moving into 2020 with storms and floods. Who would have thought that by the end of term one, we would find ourselves thrown into the midst of a global pandemic, grappling with the rapid change to online learning and coming to terms with restrictions placed in our lives. The way we knew our lives changed so quickly, going to the shop, eating out, closed beaches and hand sanitising 15, 50 times a day becoming the new normal. Schooling changed dramat dramatically. Google Classroom, Microsoft Teams, Zoom sessions and a scramble to provide work booklets began. And in true Gorakin spirit, teachers and staff alike rose to the challenge. It was not always easy, but we are here today overcoming the obstacle of COVID restrictions and celebrating the achievements of the students of Gorakin High School. So thank you to all the staff, office staff and senior executive to getting us all to the point of the year. Congratulations to all the students, whether you're receiving an award or not. We congratulate you for your resilience. We congratulate you for your adaptability and we congratulate you for showing up for 2020. I would now like to ask Mr. Boak to the lectern for the principal's address. Thanks, Hugo, and thanks, Chloe. Uh, I too would also like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land that which we meet on and pay my respects to Elders past, present and emerging and I'd certainly like to not extend that acknowledgement to any Aboriginal people here with us today, whether joining us physically in the room or who, those who are streaming online. One of the absolute privileges of being part of Gorakin High School is the depth of cultural understanding and connection that students develop through the access to the quality personnel uh, that we have on the school and spending a couple of days yesterday and the day before on country with Arnie Leslie and Uncle Dave Ella was such a significant learning experience for not only myself but the team of staff that we took out and it's an absolute pleasure to be in a school where we know that supporting cultural identity and cultural connection will continue to be a key part of what we do here at Gorakin High School. Apologies if this part is a little bit repeated for those of you who have joined us for earlier broadcasts. However, it is well and truly worth acknowledging the connection that our parents and carers have had to the school through 2020. It's been different to previous years. However, we have relied on you so much as educators for such a significant period of time during the year. And we certainly thank you, not only for that, but for your partnership and ongoing connection with our students and our school as we work through day to day whether that's having equipment, being prepared in the right headspace for learning, debriefing with students at the end of the school day, or listening with open ears and attentively how so with something exciting being shared with you at the end of the day. All of those parts, as well as some of the challenges, such as motivating teenagers to get out of bed in the morning and attend school, make it such a strong partnership, and we thank you for your commitment to that. So from the students sitting here and the staff, can I get a big round of applause for those parents sitting at home who can't be with us, and carers. I'd also like to thank Erin Manu, Jason Griffiths, and Tia Leclerc as the architects behind this being able to happen today. They've worked with a, an incredibly strong and competent team of teaching and support staff in the school for this to be able to go out live streamed, uh, as well as a celebration to take place in the school. So we thank you very much to all involved 
the, your willingness to support the students of Gorican High School in having something to celebrate 2020 with. And I'd like to congratulate our support unit students. Your achievements this year are even more significant because change was all around you and it was happening so quickly. Your teachers did a great job and your support staff did a great job of trying to communicate what those changes would look like, but it was your willingness to go on that journey and still connect with learning that makes this year such a special one for you. Your personal enjoyment that you get from learning was evident in every classroom I visited throughout the year. And I wasn't able to leave the classroom without being shown pieces of work or things that were being currently worked on with such an immense sense of pride. So whether your personal success this year was achieving your own goals, whether it was integrating into more subjects, or whether it was forming positive relationships with students and staff across the school, Congratulations on an outstanding 2020 and very well-deserved recognition this afternoon. For our Stage 6 students who are also with us, I just want to mention the idea of momentum. Momentum is the quantity of motion that an object has. And sitting here today shows you the degree of momentum that you have got in your education at the moment, that you are being recognised as being achievers, hard workers, and efficient in the subjects that you have selected or across the wide range of school-wide awards we're presenting today. The challenge is, for our year, year 12s at the moment, how do you sustain this for three more terms? As I'm sure the, year, the graduating year 12s can attest to, the HSC isn't a sprint, no, sorry, isn't an endurance event. It no, isn't a sprint, it's an endurance event. I was right the first time. It's how you're able to accumulate little gains and little wins along the way that gives you the best chance of success by the end. So how do you stay in the game and maintain momentum? The first thing is to aim high. It's the little things that matter. Completing that extra bit of work, being attentive and alert in the classroom, getting that extra little bit of feedback on the assessment that you're putting forward so that those little gains add up by the end of the year. Acknowledge the dips that occur along the way. There are ups and there are downs, and those downs can be related to school, they can be related to work, to family or to peers. And you can overcome them. You already possess the attributes to be able to do that, but you also have the support of us as a school behind you. Thirdly, know what reinvigorates you. For me, it's the ocean. But for others, it can be a song, it can be a person, or it can be a place that rejuvenates the soul. And that's important along the journey as we deal with the, the ebbs and flows of pressure. And finally, but importantly, use us. You are on track to be the most successful cohort ever to graduate from Gorican High School because of the range of resources and the skills that you have available to you in our school. Use our expertise, use our systems for your benefit as much as you need because we're backing you to achieve your personal goals. To all our recipients this afternoon, congratulations on finishing an incredibly tough year with momentum. Have a fantastic break when the opportunity arises and I look forward to partnering with many of you, apart from our graduating Year 12 students, in the opportunities that 2021 is going to hold for all of us for outgoing Year 12s. Thank you for your legacy that you depart from Gorican High School, leaving behind. And we wish you all the very best on this journey called life. Just know that you are leaving here incredibly well prepared. Thank you. I would, now, I would now like to ask our Year 11 award recipients to the side of the stage. Please hold your applause until the end. Okay. 
Ella Blondie Edwards, first in subject English Standard. Sarah Bergen, first in subject Ancient History. Alicia Check, first in subject chemistry. Jessica Clayton McCulloch, first in subject exploring early childhood. Jesse Cook, Diligence in Japanese. Jarley Douglas, first in subject English extension, extension one. Zach, Zach Dowdle, first in subject PDHP and Mathematics Standard. Madison Harvey, first in subject Aboriginal Studies. <laughs> Molly Hay, first in subject Visual Art and Modern History. Michaela Henderson, first in subject English studies. Kayla Manuel, first in subject hospitality kitchen operations certificate. Please join me in congratulating these students. Tanique Nolan, first in subject legal studies. Ben Openshaw, first in subject Earth and Environmental Science and Construction Pathway Certificate 2. Emma Redman, first in subject Earth and Environmental Science. Emma Ryan, first in subject Retail Operations Certificate 2.
Riley Shortland, first in subject, English Advanced. Mark Smith, first in subject, Construction Pathways Statement of Attainment, Manufacturing and Engineering Certificate 2, and Information Digital Technology Certificate 2. Jacob Stubbs, first in Japanese. <laughs> Flynn Taylor, first in subject, Marine Studies, Industrial Technology and Food Technology. Ashton Vincenti, first in subject biology, physics and business certificate, business services certificate two. Harry Weatherall, first in subject drama, music, business studies, mathematics advanced and mathematics extension one. Gemma Whiting, first in subject, investigating science and geography. Please congratulate our award recipients. <clears throat> For our viewers at home, our live stream will momentarily pause. Keep calm, we'll be right back with a musical performance in a moment.
I would now like to ask our support unit award recipients to the side of the stage. If the audience in the hall could wait until requested to applaud our award recipients today. Matthew Harkness, Dizzy. Natalia Hulavati, Science. Caden Nicholas Stewart, Mathematics. Alicia DeBella, English. Corey Higginson, PDHPE. Sylvia Shepherd, Kappa. Dylan Devine, Resilience. Connor Gregory, Leadership. Sebastian Rose, Community Service, Participation and Leadership Award. Aidan Brand, Support Unit Inclusive Award. I would now like to ask Mr. Boach to the stage to award our special awards for 2020. It is with great pleasure that I announce the special awards for 2020. The Battle of Long Tan holds a special place in the hearts and minds of Australians. In recognition of, in recognition of one of the defining moments in Australian military history, in August 2006, the then Prime Minister announced that it would be fitting to name the awards the ADF Long Tan Youth Leadership and Teamwork Awards. It is also a fitting tribute to the long-term long-term veterans as the very traits they demonstrated such as determination, mateship, teamwork, tenacity, compassion and leadership are the same attributes we hope to encourage and recognise in students. The Year 12 recipient of the Long Tan Youth Award for Leadership and Teamwork is Archie Twyford. The ADF have developed a new award in 2020, celebrating and acknowledging young Australians studying and showing excellence in the areas of science, technology, engineering and maths. A worthy recipient of this year's first ADF Future Innovators Award demonstrates excellence in these areas and a genuine commitment 
to, an Im to improving areas of Gorican High School with flair and creativity. A worthy recipient of the ADF Future Innovators Award, Stephanie Sue. The Stage 6 Kappa Awards are awarded to students who have shown promise and dedication in one or more areas of the arts. The students receiving this award today have been long-standing performers at Gorican High School and have overcome many challenges in order to pursue excellence in their chosen area of performance. Congratulations to the worthy recipients of the Stage 6 Kappa Award. Harry Weatherall receives the Bonnie Bryant Award for his success in senior drama. And Jali Douglas receives the overall Kappa Award for her continued contribution to visual arts, music and drama. Jali is also the worthy recipient of the Rotary Club of Tukli Award. Jali is an active member of the Student Representative Council and is a kind and courteous student and is an exemplary role model to all students at Gorican High School. Well done, Jali. The 2020 Year Advisor Awards are chosen by the Year Advisor and are awarded to students demonstrating overall achievement in different areas, including academic, creative arts, sport and community service. The recipient of the Year 11 Advisor Award is Caitlin Wilson. The Year 12 HSC English Medal is awarded to Sarah Walker. Sarah is an outstanding student who impresses with her conscientious and diligent approach to her studies. Well done, Sarah. The Executive Awards are presented to students who pursue excellence in the field of academia, creative and performing arts, or sporting areas. The executive team at Gorican High School discuss students who display these qualities and continue to strive towards excellence. The recipients of these awards have, re awards have recently represented the school at the Mariners Memorial Service at Nora Head, receiving praise from several special guests in representing our school with pride and respect for service and its history. The executive award for 2020 is awarded to Zach Dowdle and Ella Blundy Edwards. The Vocational Education and Training Awards are awarded to two exceptional students who have excelled in their chosen field. The 2020 Outstanding Vocational Education Student Award goes to Mark Smith. And the 2020 Central Coast Group Training Award goes to Caelan Manuel. The Caltex All-Rounder Award is an annual award that is dedicated to a student who displays excellence across the academic and sporting fields and confidence in leadership. 
The worthy recipient of this award is Tanik Nolan. I would now like to invite Auntie Leslie Armstrong to the stage for the Murrah Bilby Awards. Good things come in little packages, Mr Collins. Um, look, can I speak now, please? All right. Good afternoon, everybody, um, and hello to everyone out there to do this wonderful technology live streaming. But for those of you that don't know me, my name is Leslie Armstrong, and I'm a very proud Yulm woman, part of the Eora Nation. And I would like to pay my respects to the traditional custodians on this land on which we are on today and pay my respects to elders, both past and present. But the biggest thing and the focus of my job as the Aboriginal Education Officer here is to pay my respects to all you students within Gorrigan High School. Um, it is such a wonderful place to be, otherwise I wouldn't have lasted here, guys, for over 30 years. And the wonderful staff um, that put up with me, I do thank you. Um, and our new principal, Mr Boat, is, I think, learning how to put up with me, guys. So it is with great honour today that um, I announce some very special awards that are done through the school and through Moorabilby AECG. And the Moorabilby Award for Outstanding Academic and Attendance and all-round beautiful student is Emily Dixon. <laughs> the next award I have the honour to award, it's the Leslie Armstrong Murrabilby Outstanding Community Service Award and this student has really set the bar for Aboriginal students within the Central Coast. So much to the fact that he performed with the Sydney um, Philharmonic Orchestra in the Opera House um, and another other prestigious event that he did with the orchestra. Plus he had the great honour of being the the guest speaker and the opening to the new signing of the partnership agreement between the AECG and the Department of Education. And it is with great pleasure that I announce that Jock Clinton is the recipient. I can't even get down. Sorry, I get a little bit emotional, guys. Um, and this one always gets me because this is the Willis Harvey Memorial Award. And for those, once again, that don't know, Willis Harvey was a beautiful Aboriginal student here at Gorrigan High who we lost three years ago, tragically. Um, and he was an unbelievable CAP student and an unbelievable member of the Aboriginal community within this school. And we have now set up the Willis Harvey Memorial Award for the top CAP student at Corrigan High School. And this year, it goes to Lewis Swanell.
Finally, finally, we come to the last awards of the day, the prestigious Ducks Awards. The Year 11 Ducks Award is awarded to Harry Weatherall. Harry has been a member of our selective cohort and has recently been elected our school captain. Harry is a conscientious and dedicated student who works hard to achieve whatever he sets his mind to. Congratulations, Harry. And the Year 12 Ducks Award is awarded to Stephanie Sue. Stephanie has applied herself in all aspects of her learning in 2020 and built a strong foundation to her learning through her placement in the selective class. Stephanie pursued excellence in the face of adversity during COVID and should be commended for her application to her online studies. We wish Stephanie all the best as she moves from Gorican High School into the world of tertiary education. Well done, Stephanie. I now invite our award recipients to view the presentation from our special guests that could not be with us today. Good morning to all the fabulous team of Gorkin High School. It's wonderful to still be able to be, have some party in your celebrations this morning via this video and hope you thoroughly enjoy every minute of your presentation morning as you're heading into the holiday period. I'm joining you from Dark and Young Lane this morning and wish to pay my respects to Elders past, present and emerging and pay my respects to any Aboriginal people who are present in this celebration this morning. I want to send a heartfelt congratulations to every single person who has been part of the Gorokan High School team through what has been a tumultuous and extraordinary year for everyone. I recognise and understand the difficulty this brought for the leadership team, the staff, and for all the students, and there is some comfort in the notion that we were not in this difficult time alone, and that it was shared with all our fellow educators, students, and parents across the world. To all the staff, thank you for the resilience, dedication, diligence, and collegiality that you brought to work or on Zoom every day, to lighten the load and brighten those around you, with your students always at the centre of your decision making. Thank you to the support you rallied around Ms Singleton, and then Mr Both in his transition into the role as your new principal. Congratulations to both of them for leading through extraordinary times and to Mr Collins and Ms Cost for the strength they brought and continue to bring to the team. To our families, congratulations for your support of Gorokan High School through many avenues, including working closely with your children's teachers through the learning from home period and for understanding the value and important roles that their teachers play in their lives. Most importantly, to the students of Gorokan High School, the reason all of the adults head to work every day and why they choose their path into education was to have a positive impact on you and to make a difference for you. Congratulations to Aki and Joel and your team for leading your students through 2020. This year has not been an easy one for students, but the resilience and many soft skills that you have developed from it will take you very far in life. If anything, this year has taught us that there are some things we can't control in life, but that we can always control how we respond to them. All the very best to Taniqua and Harry and the 2021 year school leaders for next year. Congratulations on a phenomenal year, everyone, and all the very best for a well-earned break to spend quality time with those that are important to you. Have a safe and restful break, and I'm looking forward to working closely with you in 2021. Hi. My name's Inspector Matt Leclerc, and I'm the Wyong Unit Commander of the New South Wales State Emergency Service. I would like to congratulate all the award recipients for 2020. It's been an incredibly tough year and the resilience you have shown through the fires, floods, storms and the COVID-19 pandemic is to be commended. I would also like to take this opportunity to congratulate the recipients of the Long Tan Awards. These awards have been a long-standing tradition at Gorican High School and reflect the capacity your student body has towards leadership, teamwork and innovation. Congratulations to Toby Dowdle, Cameron Smider, Aki Twyford and Stephanie Sue for demonstrating the qualities and attributes that reflect the heart of these awards. 
The Rotary Club of North Lakes Tugley would like to congratulate Jali Douglas for your contribution to the school community. You were selected because your efforts align with the Rotary ethos of service above self. So congratulations. And congratulations to all other recipients here today. You make Gorikin High School very proud. Hello everyone, Mr Zammett here, proud Principal of Gorikin Public School. Congratulations to all the award recipients who are acknowledged at this presentation day ceremony. We're so lucky to have so many talented and hardworking students within our community. You've done well to excel in these unprecedented times and are a real inspiration to everyone around you. And for this, I congratulate you and hope that you enjoy your moment of recognition. Keep striving to be the best that you can be. Well done. On behalf of the English faculty, we would like to congratulate all award recipients. You should be very proud of your achievements. On behalf of the English faculty, we would like to wish you all a very Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Congratulations to all the award recipients for a great year. Well, well done. done. Congratulations. Congratulations, uh, all award recipients, especially Year 9. I'm very proud of you. But more importantly, Year 10. Congratulations. You're the best. But most importantly, Year 9, you did better. That's not true. We'll just call it Stage 5. Well done. Yeah. And Stage 4, you go okay. Stage 6, good job. Stage five is where it's at. Congratulations. Year 10, good work. And you know. Okay, welcome back. And uh, I'd just like to pass on my thanks to you all. I've also got the prestigious task of um, thanking our community members. So on behalf of the school, I'd just like to thank the following community uh, businesses and organisations. Nadine and Kane from Keys Plus, Lakehaven. Coles, Lakehaven. Mr Jasmine Zamet from Gorokan Public School. Miss Jackie Buchanan from Tukli Public School. Miss Jan Pryor from the Rotary Club of Tukley, the Unit Commander of Wyong SES, Mr Matthew Leclerc, the Australian Defence Force, Megan Avery, Director of Educational Leadership, Caltex, and lastly, Charmhaven Garden Centre. Thank you, and I wish you all the best for the upcoming Christmas season and a very successful 2021.